Hey fellow woodcutters, today we're going to do a Fusion 360 tutorial, drawing a pretty simple wood part. This is a wood part right here. First thing you want to do is take that wood part, put on a piece of paper and trace it, and then write in all the dimensions, finding those dimensions, the tape measure. I'll leave this piece of paper, put a link to it, and you can find it in the description and print it out. And start up here and I create a new folder. I called it Skills Board 2. And then my file is going to get saved in that skills board folder. After I did that, I went to document settings and I put my units in inches. Went up here and said create a sketch. And then that brought me in sketch mode. And then I clicked on the XY plane. And that's why this is green Y and red X. So now I'm starting to draw. I'm going to start a line. And the first thing I'm going to draw is this bottom corner here. So I'm just going to use a construction line to get to that corner there. So I hit create a line, I'll create a construction line. Starting at the origin, I go over one space, one quarter, zero degrees, enter. And then I'm gonna turn my construction, I'm gonna create another line, turn construction off, snap there, and then I'm gonna go up one inch at 90 degrees. And then I'm gonna click from there back to there. Then I'm going to start drawing up. The overall block is three. That first bit of elevation was one. So here I want to go two, tab 90. And then here, this is a little hard to see, but the center of the circle here is two and a quarter inches. So I'm going to draw over two and a quarter. So two space one quarter snap it at 90. I'm going to go up and create a semicircle. I'm going to snap at that point. The diameter is two and three quarters. So two space three fours. There it is. And then from this point here, I'm going to keep drawing forward. So I'm going to go back to create a line, snapping at that point. And the overall block is 10 and a quarter but I've already gone two and a quarter over. So 10 and a quarter minus two and a quarter is eight. So I'm gonna go eight at zero degrees. I'm gonna come down to the three inches to the origin here. And then I'm gonna come back to this corner here. So there's my part. Um, I'm gonna right click and say, okay. Then I'm going to go to the trim. I'm going to trim that half of the circle off, that half of that line, and that portion of that line off. And then I have my miter in this corner. And the miter is 1 and 3 eighths over and 1 and 3 eighths down. I could do it a couple of ways. I could create a line snapping there and going 1 and 3 eighths. And then, so I don't know how long it's going to be, so I'm going to make it too long, like that, say 2.2, 2, tab 45, and then click, and there's my line. Right click, OK. And then with that, I'm going to trim off that excess portion of the line. I'm going to trim off that line. I'm going to get rid of that line and trim that one off, the one I had before. So there's my miter, my corner cut in my semicircle. Then the next thing I need to do is create those three cuts right here. Create a rectangle to do that. It's going to be a construction line. I'm going to snap at the origin. I'm going to go over to the larger one, which is four and three quarters over, four and three quarters. And it is two inches up. So tab two, then click. Something looks wrong there, but I might be right. I'm going to do it again with another construction line. The second circle is three and an eighth over, three and an eighth over, dab, and one and three eighths up. There, I'm going to do a third rectangle sting in construction lines for that little hole. And that one is one and seven eighths over. And um, how high up is that? 
pretty crowded drawing here. One inch up. So tab one, enter, and there it is. And then I'm going to go to my circle. I'm going to snap at that vertex. And I'm going to turn construction line off. And that circle is going to be diameter of one. That circle is a diameter of a half. And this circle here is a diameter of a quarter. And then I'm finishing my sketch. I hit finish sketch. And then I am going to extrude. Uh, let me go to this view here. And I'm going to drag it out. And the thickness of the board is three quarters of an inch. I can hit A on the keyboard for appearance. And then under appearance here, I could go down to wood. And then under wood, you could hit cherry. And it's already been downloaded, so I just drag it over there to make it a cherry wooden block. And then now I'm going to create my working drawing. So from there, I'm going to go design, drawing from my design. Uh, I'm going to call this skill or to you. I'm going to put in the fall 2022 folder. I'm going to put in a skill board 2 folder. So it's saved. I'm actually going to create a, a, a landscape. So A11 by 8.5 sheet of paper. As means what we want in inches. Okay. You can create your own title block down here for a nice look, but I'm actually just going to use this one, this default one. That's the scale of one to four. I think one to two will probably work. That's a good drawing. There's my front view there. And then from there, I'm going to go up to my projective view, select your parent. It's going to be that. That'll be my top view. I need a fair bit of room in there to get my dimensions in. And then my right side view. And then up here, is my isometric view. And I'm going to right click OK. And then there's my drawing. All my dimensions go on my multi view here. And this just gives me an idea how to build it. From this, I'm going to go up here to dimensions. I want to dimension uh, this corner right like that. I'm going to dimension this corner. I could do the overall length from here to here. I might do that on the bottom. Um, so I'll go dimension. I want a linear dimension. I'm going to snap right there to right there. And that'll give me the 10 and a quarter. Is this dimension. Overall height, overall thickness Put on that view. Looking pretty good. Back to dimension. I want to put this radius in. Right there. This diameter. I don't want any of my leader lines to cross. And I kind of want to stay at the same angle of 135 degrees. I wonder. Escape out of there, back to dimension. Zoom all the way in on the circle. And zoom back out. And then I need a few more dimensions in here. I need a linear dimension from that corner to that center. Uh, that might be, oh, I need all the dimensions from here to the perpendicular. So those are going to be linear as well. I'm going to go from here to here. I'm going to run out of room here. I'm going to try and get these as tight as I can. I'm going to try and nest them from this center point to there. Pretty crowded from that center point as well. 
to there, the center of the circle to that corner, seven and an eighth, and it's rounding it, 7.13 instead of 7.125. So it says center to there, pretty complex, and kind of over that 0.475. I'm going to right click, OK. I'm going to click on that dimension, see if I can drag it, maybe outside the part there. It's a little bit better. Uh, you should have your name on there, the date on there. Then you want to go up here to the text box, create a text box, put that text box somewhere up here, about that size. And then type in their inches, right click, OK, and then you can grab that text box. So there it is. There's that pretty complex board. Um, still a single component, one part. Hopefully that video helped. Uh, thank you for watching.